Hey YouTube, uh, this is a short video on uh, how the Bordeaux type pressure gauge works. So this, has, this is a fully mechanical uh, gauge. It has no electric or hydraulics components. Uh, so it uses the media like uh, the fluid or uh, the gas to do the work for it. So it's completely mechanical and self-operating. So let's have a look on, on it and see how it looks inside. Let's remove the glass, the glass cover. And let's remove the needle and unscrew the screw to the faceplate remove the faceplate and remove the housing and let's put back the, the needle just for uh, illustration purposes it's a bit tiny so there we go okay so remember what I said, this is purely mechanical. No other components than what I'm holding in my hand right now. So this is a pressure gauge, right? So it measure, measures pressure, gas or in fluid form. So let's uh, make an example. Uh, let's play with our mind and uh, think of uh, air, for example. So if overpressured air comes in to this inlet, it travels up here and forward into this, this pipe. This is actually a bended copper pipe that has been flattened, as you can see. So the air travels in from the inlet to the pipe and inside the pipe to the end over here and it's all sealed up no leakage leakage and imagine that uh, the air that we let in into the inlet is overpressurized and then this bend will try to straight out it's bended now right so it will go in that direction, this direction, and try to uh, straighten out. Since the pressure increases, the pipe wants to straighten out. So imagine, for example, your garden hose when you turn it on. It wants to rise, right? Almost like a, <laughs> like a living snake or something. Uh, I don't know how to explain it better, but it wants to straighten out, yes? So watch what happens if we stretch out the pipe. Yeah. The needle moves clockwise. So pressure rises in air state <laughs> this time and it can also be liquid. Remember that. And if the pressure decreases um, the pipe will contract instead, like this. It will contract. And watch what happens then. It contracts and the needle moves counterclockwise. So, increase pressure, stretch out the pipe, contract the pipe, decrease pressure. So it's that simple, really. It's really a simple mechanism. And uh, the end of the pipe here transfers the movement from the pipe through the linkage, uh, through some gears inside, and out to the needle. So, very simple system and very re reliable and cheap. Okay, so the Boron style pressure. So 
Okay, so the boredom style pressure gauge gauge is used well like everywhere. You have them in your cars in you have them in the industry and well anywhere where you want to measure pressure you can use this one or this kind of pressure gauge. It's very easy to install. Just hook it up with a coupling and you're all set. No need to connect something electrical or hydraulic. Just a connector and you're all done. So, hopefully you learned something today. I certainly did. <laughs> uh, and if you like what you see, you can always subscribe and uh, comment in the section below. So, thanks for watching and bye bye.